Hi everyone! Today's story is called Nutrients. Think about what you already know about nutrients. What are they? Nutrients are substances that provide nourishment necessary for all life. The body gets nutrients from the food and what we drink. Nutrients travel through the body through the blood. Today, you're going to hear about the four main nutrients that the body needs to grow. But listen very carefully, because at the end of our read aloud, there are two other important nutrients. So there are six nutrients that are essential for our healthy bodies. But before we start our story, let's take a look at a couple of the words that we're going to hear today. The first word we have today, and a word that I want you to add in your vocabulary books, is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are substances that supply the human body with energy. For example, sugar and starch are carbohydrates found in many plant foods. Our next word that we need to add to our vocabulary books is essential. Essential means absolutely necessary, extremely important. The third word I want you to add to your vocabulary books is minerals. Minerals are non-living substances or inorganic. They're used in small quantities or in small quantities are part of a healthy diet. Add the word mineral to your vocabulary book. Another word that you're going to hear today is fat or fats. Fats are substances that are essential or necessary to a healthy body in small doses. Fat. And the last word that we're going to focus on today is the word protein or proteins. Proteins are also substances found in all body cells, and they are essential for growth. Protein. Let's begin reading. So remember, you're going to hear about the four main nutrients your bodies need to grow, but also listen about two other important nutrients. Why do you eat? Is it because certain foods taste really good to you? That's surely one reason why I eat. I can't imagine my world without the taste of a fresh bowl of vegetable soup or peppermint stick ice cream cone on a summer's day. You also eat because you get hungry, right? Your tummy grumbles and it complains if it hasn't been fed for a long time. But what is the main reason you eat? Ah, at last, Nick New tries chance to talk about my favorite topic, nutrients. You eat because you need the nutrients that food provides to stay healthy. We've talked a lot about nutrients in the previous lessons. You know that your blood carries nutrients to all parts of the human body. Your digestive and excretory systems filter waste from the body and send nutrients back into the blood. Your cells need nutrients to stay alive. Your tissues need nutrients to function properly. Your organs stop working without the right nutrients, and if your organs stop working, your body systems might stop working too. You know that nutrients are good for you, but what exactly are nutrients? Nutrients are substances that provide nourishment necessary for the growth and the health of an organism. Providing the body with nutrients it needs is an essential part of staying healthy. So how do you get nutrients? Yes, from the food you eat. Nutritionists like me think of the body as a chemical factory. Everything you eat is made up of thousands of different chemical substances. The ones that every healthy body needs to stay alive are called nutrients. Everyone needs four basic nutrients, water, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. These nutrients come from different food sources. It is up to you to choose the right foods to supply your bodies with the proper balance of water, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the best food choices for maintaining a healthy body. Let's start with the nutrient that is familiar to everybody, water. Water is perhaps the most important nutrient of all. It is necessary for all body functions. You cannot live for more than about a week without water. Did you know that two-thirds of your body is made up of water? Water is part of your blood. It travels in and out of your cells and helps to dissolve other nutrients, carrying them to all of your tissues. Water is a necessary part of the excretory system, making up most of your urine. Water helps break down your food so that solid waste can pass from your body. 
water even helps to maintain the right body temperature. When given a choice of what to drink, water is always the healthiest choice you can make. It is up to you to constantly refill your body's supply of water. You need between three and six cups each day. But not all of your water needs to come from a cup. Did you know that many foods contain lots of water too? Grapefruit, watermelon, tomatoes, cucumber, and lettuce are all good choices. One way to tell whether you're getting enough water is to check the color of your urine. It should be practically colorless. All nutrients supply your body with energy, but the body's main source of energy comes from carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are found almost entirely in plant foods. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, peas, beans, potatoes, rice, and pasta are good choices for carbohydrates. Milk and milk products like ice cream and yogurt provide the body with carbohydrates and protein. Cheese has only a few carbohydrates. Protein is a bodybuilder contained in all body cells. It is necessary for your body's growth and development, building muscle and helping to repair cells. It's easy to see how cells outside the body like hair, skin, and nails renew themselves, isn't it? Each time we cut them, they grow right back. The body makes its own protein, but it needs help from foods. Good sources of protein include meat, fish, chicken, eggs, milk, and beans. The fourth nutrient that your body needs is fat. Butter, margarine, and oils are good sources of fat. Today many people are overweight, so it may seem strange to you that I'm telling you to include fat in your diet. But your body does need a certain amount of fat. Does anyone know why? Well, for one thing, fat is necessary for the development of your brain, especially in the first few years of your life. When you looked at skin cells under a microscope, do you remember seeing the layer of fat cells? A thin layer of fat underneath of your skin acts like a blanket, providing you with insulation and warmth. Fat stores energy in your body and helps keep your skin healthy too. So you see, fat is an important nutrient, but you only need very small amounts of it. Your body can make most of its building blocks from carbohydrates and proteins. After about age two, you need to be careful not to eat too much fat because that might cause you to gain too much weight. So far, you've learned that the body needs four basic nutrients to grow and stay healthy. What are they? Good, water, carbohydrates, proteins, and fat. But these are not the only nutrients your body needs. There are other important nutrients that are also essential to life, and they are called vitamins and minerals. Your body needs less of them, but if you don't get enough vitamins and minerals, you can become very sick. Long ago, sailors lived on a diet of only biscuits and salty meat while they were out at sea. They began to suffer from bleeding gums, and their bones became weak. Once they added lemons and limes to their diets, the soldiers or the sailors became much better. Why do you think that is? Citrus fruits like lemons and limes and oranges and grapefruits gave the sailors vitamin C that they needed to keep their blood vessels, gums, and teeth healthy. Vitamin C also helps build tissue to fight germs. That's why your mom or dad might give you an extra orange juice if you feel like you're catching a cold. If you aren't a fan of citrus fruits, broccoli and tomatoes are also good choices to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin C. Letters of the alphabet, like the letter C, are used for many vitamins. There's vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, D, and E, and so many more. Vitamin A is important for healthy skin and helps you to see more clearly at night. Dairy products like carrots and dark leafy greens contain a lot of vitamin A. There are many different B vitamins, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, and so on. The B vitamins, found mostly in meat, help the body perform lots of different functions. For example, B12 helps make red blood cells. Vitamin D, found in fish and egg yolks, helps to build strong bones. Most of the vitamins you need comes from vegetables, fruits, 
and grains. All vitamins are essential in small doses or amounts. If you have a healthy diet, you're probably getting all the vitamins that you need. Fluoride is a mineral that is often added to public drinking water. It is contained in some toothpaste and mouthwash as well. This is because fluoride helps prevent tooth decay. Your body needs small amounts of different minerals, such as fluoride, to help perform specific body functions. Besides fluoride, other minerals include calcium, sodium, and iron. You can help your teeth and bones stay strong by eating foods rich in calcium. Milk, broccoli, and almonds are good choices. Sodium found in table salt, bacon, and lots of soup broth helps to regulate the body's fluids. Then again, too much salt is not necessarily good for you. It causes the body to hold on to too much fluid, which can cause high blood pressure. If you feel weak, look pale, and get tired easily, you may need more iron. Eat more red meat, whole grains, and beans. Iron helps the blood carry oxygen throughout the body and helps the body to fight infections. Each one of these minerals provides important nutrients for your body. As with vitamins, you can get most of the minerals you need by eating a healthy diet. That's what we'll talk about next time we meet. The best foods for you to eat.